Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here we have started with this kitchen, 3D kitchen over here. So let's continue it. So we'll be creating this table over here. For creation of this table, let's go to the top view over here and let's first take a box over here let's take a box till here so after taking a box over here we can slightly just push it inside so before we start up let's just resize this drag it inside over here and just increase its height of this a bit more convert to editable poly and let's use one swift loop over here so let's use one swift loop over here and one over here so select this polygons over here so select this all and extrude it out till here and click ok so once you are done can slightly just push this out push it a bit inside over here select this polygon slightly extrude it out click ok now again let's take a swift loop you can add few details if required ok so we'll be just pushing this a bit till here slightly push this inside again take a swift loop Again, put two loops over here. So select this polygon. Let's give a bit of inset and if you want you can slightly use extrude push it inside again use a swift loop over here select this polygons again use inset over here by polygons click ok and give a bit of extrude to it click ok so once you are done with this let's go over here in this view and let's create this silly lights over here hanging light so for that let's use a bit of line over here so I will be using a line tool over here take again a line tool over here go into this view over here just create a shape in this way 
go into the vertices and let's give a bit of fill into it. So once you're done with this, you have a modifier called lathe modifier. Let's give a lathe modifier over here. Go into the vertex again. Select this slightly push this out and push this up so once you're done over here if you want you can go into this and slightly you can just give a bit of fill it if required after that let's go into the modifier and give a shell modifier let's give a bit of a shell modifier select this line and go into rendering enabling viewport make it as a radial and reduce its thickness so again go over here slightly you can still push this up if you want you can scale this down and push this down so definitely there will be a roof on the top which will be creating over here so you can just take a box over here for now for this roof section over here and slightly just push it up this one. so we'll be hiding this let's hide this select this line and this over here and slightly push this over here shift and drag and make a duplicate of it so select this save your file once again over here That's it. Now we can create a wash basin over here. For that, select this. Again, take a swift loop. Okay, we need to create first this cabinets. So we can go with this cabinet section over here. First of all. So select the polygons, let's give a bit of inset by polygons, click OK, again give it, just give inset and give extrude slightly and just slightly push it inside over here, that's it. So once it is done over here, we can go over here and take this copy over here for this handles and rotate it. So slightly just push it over here. So just duplicate it. Shift and drag and duplicate it. So guys save your file over here. So if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel over here. So we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.